Hello and welcome to That's The Point. We're here, you're here, by nature that you're watching this, uh, to talk about construction positioning technology. My name is Corey Meyer, joined by my wingman, Jonathan Stickle. What's up, man? Too much. Glad to be here. So we had a little bit of a hiatus. We're back in the studio, and today we're going to be talking about layout, and specifically we're going to talk about reference elevations. Yeah, this is uh, juicy stuff, so I'm excited. <laughs> uh, but the point of it is we're talking about layout today. Yeah, exactly. Layout and scanning applications both utilize reference elevations, but in this particular episode, we're specifically talking about field layout. So we're talking about optical total stations, GNSS, precision layout, and how reference elevations are presented and set in FieldLink. So before we show you how to get a reference elevation, what is it and why is it important? Yeah, you know, that's a really good question. I'm glad you asked. It's almost like we thought about this ahead of time. <laughs> reference elevations are used to denote a predetermined or kind of benchmark measured elevation on your project. With FieldLink, your reference elevation is set in one of two ways. The first is it goes, it's automatically defaults to your first control point and the elevation that's contained within that control point. That then becomes your reference. The second way you can get a reference elevation is to shoot a benchmark after your setup and then use that as a reference elevation. And being real, a lot of times uh, control points don't have an elevation. You know, that's really the reality in building construction. When we're talking about vertical construction, a lot of projects, um, so they, they don't have that initial set. And, you know, the control points are typically set with no elevation. Mm -hmm. um, and that's why a lot of them then have a baseline measurement on site to zero out that elevation. And so after your control has been established. And it's important to remember that field link defaults to the reference elevation set on the first control point of your setup. So if that control point doesn't have an elevation, or if that's not the elevation you want to use, you'll need to set the reference elevation manually. Yeah, we really want to hit that home because that is the way that FieldLink likes to operate. Um, so maybe the other scenario is like maybe you're moving up to the next deck, you're doing a mm -hmm. multi-story, right? And you want each slab to be at zero. Using this process, you can easily reset your rest reference elevation as you move up the building as a way to stay working in a zero reference. Either way, easily manage the FieldLink. And I bet this is simple enough that we could probably show it right here. You would be correct. So, yeah, and it's actually very, very straightforward. So what we have is we've actually got a T100 here just running, running field link, and it is connected off camera to, a, to an RTS that has already been set up. We've already done our station setup and everything like that. Um, and so we're ready to go and we're ready to lay out. And what we want to do is it's actually just a, a really quick process and workflow. Um, so we are going to find that benchmark elevation. We're going we're gonna to set our prism at that. Um, which brings to mind the other important detail, which is that you want to make sure um, that you do have a prism height set when we're talking elevation. It's something that a lot of times when you're just laying out an X, Y, you don't care about the Z. Um, you don't have to have a prism height necessarily. Um, but you can see up in the upper left-hand corner, we do have that prism height notated in this particular case at four foot eight, um, because that was our measured prism height. It is important to do that because we are talking about elevations here. Um, and we also want to make sure that the proper prism set. So you want to make sure just you're using all your best practices. In this case, we're using a 360 prism and it's loaded up within FieldLink. Um, the next step that we're going to do is we're just going to go over to the device tab and we've got that reference elevation button. We're going to press that and it's going to tell us immediately to aim at the reference point. Now, fortunately for us, we're already set up and we're already pointing at that elevation point. We want to name that as a zero foot elevation for the reference. Um, but you can easily just tap that edit button if you'd prefer, type in whatever elevation you want. Um, but in our case, we're going to say zero and we're going to tap measure. And there we go. It's going to take the shot and it is then going to bring that 360 prism to your reference elevation of zero. So now as we go to layout, right, we would go back to a measure and we'd say layout. And as we move around the project, as you can see on the screen, we now have everything re re referenced in the in the vertical mm -hmm. to that initial and we're so we're, we're plus or minus that zero that we just captured out in the field and it's right. really that simple yeah and it really couldn't be much more straightforward or simple and of course if you need further help your local building point representative is happy to help in this real world application and workflow yeah absolutely and don't forget smash that subscribe button stay up to date with the latest tips tricks and pointers and thanks for watching and we'll see you next time on that's the point